Hello, Mr. Stinky. Oh my god, he's so tired. He is so tired. He just got back from a night shift at the steel factory, so he is like exhausted. <laughs> This is my morning slop. Normally I eat it out of a trough and it's pumpkin spice season. I don't really actually, I don't like it. I just did it for the video. Oh my God, also I got this blanket and I was just looking down at it and the tag was just like here. Where did it go? 60% baby alpaca, 40% acrylic. Bitch. I thought they were killing alpacas for this. For like five seconds, I was sitting here in amazement. I went. <laughs> the only thing that registered in my brain was, okay, alpaca is an animal. You need to leave. I felt disgust and then I, re and then I remembered, oh, okay, so an alpa alpaca is, yeah, they just shave it. I think it's good for them, I think, to shave them. I think it's like bad if you don't shave them. Anyways. Jesus. Oh, why didn't that work? <laughs> A lot to think about. So, this is my third time trying to film this vlog. I've been doing bad, really bad. Mentally, just like in like a horrible place. I think I'm dying. <laughs> And I've been trying to film this vlog. I filmed it pretty much twice, but I cannot edit it because I started each vlog by going on like a 30 minute tangent about how I've been feeling. And then I start editing it and I can't listen to it. Like I can't listen to this fuck talk about how shitty he feels because it just makes me feel shittier. And it's also just like not fun to watch. If you want to hear me talk about how fucking depressed I am, go head on over to my Patreon. That's behind a paywall because I did. <laughs> I post like kind of like podcasty longer videos on there. Actually, we have a, quite a few updates for the Patreon, which I'll talk about. But in this vlog, we're just not gonna do that at all. All I'll say is yeah, I've been struggling a bit in here. And what I've been trying to do is to build a routine. The past like two weeks, I've been, yeah, just trying to add structure to my life because there is none. There's absolutely none. This is my first fall ever not going back to school, which is so weird and so exciting. I didn't graduate. I did drop out. So. <laughs> However, before I forget, I just want to say my Patreon, we have tears now. I added tears, not tears, like, <laughs> like tears, like 
uh, you know, like a cake, cake tiers. So the first tier is solely for book club, and here's why. So each month, at the beginning of the month, I post a video. It's like 45 minutes to an hour long, and it's supposed to be like our book club meeting, where I just talk about my opinion on the book, and then I read other people in the book club's responses. I'll post like a discussion board on Patreon the week before the meeting, and then I'll just respond to a few of those. Now what ends up happening every single time, historically is I started out not talking about the book for some reason I just like I just have like things that I want to talk about so I end up spending the beginning of each meeting just going on a fucking insane horrible boring not boring the last tangent I think was pretty fun it was about um just how I wanted to die. <laughs> and then I'll talk about my opinion and my experience with the book. And then I read responses. But then what happens is I, I, I've been recording for like an hour and I only end up reading like three or four and there's like 30. So what I'm really excited about is eliminating that first chunk and just immediately in those meetings once a month, dedicating that entire video, most of the video, <laughs> I'm gonna go on a couple different tangents to the book and then try my best to read as many responses as possible. And then the second tier will, all, like book club, everything, the discord, you have access to all of that. But then I'm gonna be posting very random videos once a month in like the middle of the month to that second tier. I have a lot of ideas for videos that I really want to do, but I often am like, it just doesn't fit on this channel. I really, in my, like to me like, <laughs> what I do here on YouTube, bitch, like I'm making like Marvel movies. These are like projects, but those monthly videos will be like, kind of like bullshit, like, I don't, I don't know. Like a few days ago I posted just like a vlog, like it was like a 40 minute, super not edited, very like toned down, full of v vibes. And then I think the next one is gonna be I really want to react to my old videos, and I've wanted to do this for a long time, but I just... F I'm embarrassed <laughs> to put it on YouTube, but I feel like there it's like a much smaller audience, and I feel way more free to be like personal on there. I mean, if you don't know, which you don't because I've never said this, I think I posted my first YouTube video on this channel when I was 15, and I looked the other day, I have... <laughs> I think it's like 152 videos on here, and I think about 50 of them are public. From like seven years ago, th there's some pretty, there's some stuff on there. So next month, I'll probably do that for the video. And then the third tier, I really want to do something with it, but right now it's just kind of like extra support. But, but like just you watching this already means so much, but if you do want to support me on there, <sighs> I will suck your toes, like that, <laughs> but anyways, my life, it's kind of, yeah, it's been, like, it's been... I can't, I can't, I can't go on another fucking tangent. Okay, my routine, wake up earlier. Today I woke up at 6.30, immediately, as soon as possible, just like work out, do something outside, whether that's like running, hiking, walk, walking, go for a frickin' little walk. This morning I went for a run, I went for a quick 10k. Come home, kind of like get ready, and then just do work. Like do whatever work I have to get done. At the moment, YouTube and Patreon are the only things that I'm doing, which is like insane that I get to say that. <laughs> but today, for work, I don't have a video or really anything to edit. I have a lot of reading to get done. So my work for today is just books. I'm reading three different books right now that I need to finish because I want to finish them before I start Peace Like a River, which is the book club pick for September. So I need to start this and finish it by the end of the month. But I really want to finish these books first. I'm rereading Gathering Moss because I got this for a friend for my friend's birthday. And when I got this, I should have gotten a copy for myself. So before I give it to her, I want to just reread it. I've also been reading Wild by Cheryl Strayed, which is an, a memoir about a woman. Her mother dies of cancer when she's like 20. 
22, and then at 26, she randomly out of nowhere decides to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, which is a hike from the bottom of America, south of Los Angeles, the Mojave Desert is where she starts. And then it goes all the way up into Canada. And then my main book that I've been reading is Death's End by Cixin Liu. If you're new here, If you're new here, I let. This is the third book, the last book in a trilogy, a sci fi trilogy that has like ruined my life this year, but it's also made it so much better. Although I will say the thing that like I've been enjoying the most, surprisingly, because I kind of just. What happened was I listened to Hunger by Roxane Gay, which is a memoir. So incredible. And I was just craving memoirs, so I started listening to Wild. And then I came home and I totally forgot that I owned a copy. And it's so much fun. This is what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I don't know how much I'll get done, but we'll see. <laughs> What time is it? 7.38. Okay, Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap, he was 17.38, by the way, if you don't know, which I feel like a lot of you don't know because you are not with the shits like... Me. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night reading. Although I must put you guys on quickly to Anna Wallace Johnson's travel freaking videos. I implore every single one of you to go check these out. I'll link her channel below because I've been having so much fun watching them. <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> He's my protector. This looks so bad. <laughs> for some reason, I'm so embarrassed about eating a chicken salad for right now. Like, there's something just so embarrassing and, like, fucked up about eating a chicken salad. <laughs> oh, also, the fuck? This is the apple honey bu <laughs> Honey bush? What the hell? <laughs> apple honey bush flavor. Let me try it out. Damn, that is really good. That's really good. The aftertaste is a bit kombucha-y though. Also, yes, my AirPods. They sound a little bit funny. I've been having this thing happening recently where I've just been spilling my water bottle as much as I can. But just now, the greatest thing ever happened ever. I, okay, you can see this here. I put my water bottle down here, and then I put my AirPods. What are they called? These fuckers. Bitch, I, I knocked my water bottle. It like got all up in there. <sighs> Anyways, I'm almost done straight. So I'm about to finish it right now while I eat my chicken salad, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Aww. I love that last sentence. Mm. Sorry, I've been wanting to get into dabbing more, so... Um... 
That's, oh my oven's, fuck. I left the oven on. <laughs> As I was saying, dabbing. Can we get some, um, applause for the bangs? My bangs. Look at my bangs. Today was pretty fucked up. I went for that run in the forest, got home shortly after it started pouring rain, and it's been rain raining. I was about to say raying. <laughs> but on my run, I listened to Wild, a, bu a bunch of Wild. And I got home and I was like, okay, so gonna be very productive today. And then I said, but wait, but like, that Cheryl strayed. That Cheryl strayed. I wanna know what, like I wanna, I wanna, I gotta know what's going on with her. So I picked up this and I finished it. It's, t it's taken me like all day. I loved this so much. It's such a good memoir. It's such like a cinematic memoir. Like I know that there's a movie with Reese Witherspoon. I'm not gonna watch that. I'll, I, maybe I will. I read it because I've been in this funk this depressive little funk. And I thought by reading this, it would get me, like I was like, this will get me out of bed. This will make me like plan a trip. I've talked about before. I was planning a European extravaganza, couple month long trip through Europe. But then I got hella depressed for like six weeks. And that just has not been on my radar at all. And my plan now is to actually get cryogenically frozen. Honestly, this trip, <laughs> her hiking trip along the Pacific Crest Trail was, it did not make me want to go for a hike. I don't want to spoil it because the way it's written and the way it's structured is so great. She'll like hike for a while and then this one specific thing, like, like she gets a divorce and she'll recount her relationship with her ex-husband and then a couple pages of this hike and then it'll go back to like some crazy shit that she did that um, led her to drop everything with like zero hiking experience go on the hardest hike like this hike is fucking crazy but it just was fucking fun and it was like I almost cried in the beginning it was so sad just her mother dying I was like holy fuck this is really sad but right now I'm not doing anything that I was gonna do today I'm done but what I'd like to start is Tuesday night movie nights. I think I talked about maybe in my last video that my <laughs> New Year's resolution was to watch more movies. <laughs> I've watched like maybe like seven, maybe six, and it's already almost October. So I'd like to start Tuesday night movie night. Watch, okay, no one talks about this. Watching a movie is hard and it's a big commitment, but why the fuck are movies so long? Who? Like, why is every single movie three hours long? Like, that Babylon movie with Margot Bobby? I have not seen it. I haven't seen a single second of that movie. I don't even think I've seen the trailer. I've just seen the poster. Why would that be three hours long? This is like an hour 45 minute movie, just from the poster. Like, what, it, like, I don't get it. But I wanna start watching movies that are like, <laughs> like deep cuts, super just like, just bullshit movies. I want to watch films. I think that's a good word, films. Like there's a difference between films and movies. And Tuesday nights are going to become my film nights, where I'm going to watch a film. Why are you, are you focusing at all? Oh my God, I look like Albert Einstein. <laughs> Has this been out of focus the entire time? No, I don't think so. Le bonheur, I think that means happiness. Yeah, yeah, because I remember being in French in like grade 11 and learning that and being like, oh! <laughs> okay, that makes sense because like a boner, <laughs> like when you're happy, you can't. <laughs> Letterbox says only a woman could dare to make this film. Dun, dun, dun. And it's only 80 minutes long. Okay, I'm watching this. I am watching this. Uh, Though married to the good-natured, beautiful Therese, young husband and father Francois finds himself falling unquestionably into an affair with an attractive postal worker. Oh.
C'est trop français. Lemon is the flavor of the day. It's all right. Just showered, sunny day, coffee, and a book. I'm at the point where I don't know what else to say in this vlog. Wow. Wow. Today, I, I am beat. <laughs> I am beat. I didn't say anything to you yesterday. Yesterday was Wednesday. It was the most silent day on earth. I think I probably said a total of like, four words. Those four words being please, thank you, and hi. Because I, I took a break from running. What you haven't seen is before this, I have been working out. So yesterday, I just decided to take a break because that's healthy. And instead of working out in the morning, I just went shopping. Really, honestly, really great vibes. I felt really good being in the world. I really truly feel like nature is healing. Now, I still need to pot these. My mission, my goal, my prerogative is to pot them tomorrow. First, I got this UFO plant, which is great. When I was checking out, the lady checking me out was like, this is the Chinese money tree, and it's also a tree, it's not a tree, plant. It's also the plant of friendship. Okay, and then this is the big one. The reason why I went to this greenhouse is because, I'll show you. <laughs> so I have this... Ficus, Fi I think it's called a ficus. I've had it for quite a while, and recently I moved my plants around because they were originally on this ledge right next to the window, and a lot of them were like drying out and dying. And I was like, okay, so I thought that plants needed sunlight. Like, what the fuck? But this, for some reason, ficus, that doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. Within like a couple days, it just shedded all of its leaves. This used to be full of leaves. And it was my only plant that was actually doing well. And then I moved it, I'm not kidding, like two or three feet away from the window. And it just shedded all of its leaves. And I don't know if it's because it's fall. Because like, it is a tree. Look at it, it's a tree. It's got like bark and wood and shit. So maybe that's why. But like, also like, I don't want a tree in my bedroom. So my plan was to take this out of the pot, because I love this pot, plant it outside, and then I was gonna go to the store and get a new plant to plant inside of this one. So that's why I picked up this. Let's hear some noise for it, please. Like, this is... 
this is some hot shit. But then I came home and much to my surprise, this is the size of the pot. So I can't plant it in there. I have to buy a bigger pot. And there's also some other stuff that I'm gonna move around and repot. And then as I was leaving, I was only gonna get these two plants. But then I saw this in the succulent section. I looked at that and I said, okay, so that is growing in the bikini bottom. Why is that here? Are you kidding me? This is directly from SpongeBob, from the bikini bottom. That is hilarious. So I need to find a little home for this as well. Do y'all remember when I started this video being like, okay, so the routine is gonna be get up early, very early, work out, immediately get to work. Immediately. Let me get my fucking phone. Oh wow. Oh wow. And I haven't done a lick of work. A lick of it. What did I do today? What did I get up to? I'm crazy, so it was probably something fucking insane. Um, went for a run with Leo. That was fine. I probably could have ran a lot more, but Leo, he's got a couple extra pounds that shouldn't... He eats well, so he's not the greatest runner. And then I got home and I was like, okay, what, did I get these plants yesterday or the, I don't, two days ago, the day before, yesterday, I don't know. I needed to pot them because what happened last time was I got all these plants and then I waited like three weeks to pot them. <laughs> It was bad, it was really bad. So I went out and I ran a couple different errands and then I went and got pots. I bought so many pots, like so many fucking pots of all just different shapes and sizes because I left the house being like, okay, so I got this plant, I got this plant, and I got this plant. So I need to get a pot that's at least this big. I need to get a pot that's this big, a pot that's this big, but also a way. So I was like, okay, I had it all formulated and mapped out in my head, but then when I got to the winners, I got these pots at winners, except for this one I got at Canadian Tire. <laughs> My mind just went completely blank, and I was like, wow. Huh. Okay. So then I just ended up getting, I spent a hundred dollars on pots. But listen, I was busy. I was out there changing lives, spending a lot of- I spent like $500, but I went to a couple different stores. <laughs> I also got some like workout gear. So my goal for the rest of the night is I think the only like work related type of thing I need to do, which I should have- I, I was supposed to do this two days ago. I need to announce next month's book for the book club for Priority of Sean, which if you want to join the first tier on my Patreon. And I, I, I like to announce the scripture or the books in like Little fun, like I like to do something like a, like a little picture or like sometimes a big video. The first couple months, I literally spent like six hours editing a video to announce the, the book. I can't, I don't have the time to do that. Oh, nary the motivation. So I need to edit a little like meme or picture video, I don't know, together. I think the book, it's notes on an execution. It's about a man, serial killer. He's about to be executed on death row. And I believe the book is him kind of recounting these murders murders. Kind of like Lolita-esque, the way Humbert Humbert is recounting this story in jail. Was that a spoiler? I don't think so. It's Lolita. I'm fully choosing it because you might have seen in the beginning of this video, which I edited, I was watching Allison Page's video, and in that, I edited out a clip that I like couldn't fit in the video of me... <laughs> Just play it. Hi. Hi. Hey. And in that video, she read notes on an execution, and she loved it, and I was like, okay, I need to read this. And I feel like it's like the perfect book for the book club, and for October, obviously, if that's not, you know, serial killers, there's probably some pretty heavy themes. Make sure to look up content warnings if that's... If you're not brave like me, like if you... <laughs> 
No, you know what I mean. I'm super behind on this video. So tomorrow I'm gonna spend all day editing this video. So I'm just gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe. No, I can't do that. And I'll see you in my next video. My next. I'll see you in my next video. I need to do like a tagline. Like I feel like everybody, like I, I outros are the hardest part for me to film because I feel like it takes some level of sincerity. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll just record until my camera dies. And it's just like a blank wall of ads. I'll just put ads in it. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Sorry. Mm, let me eat this popcorn dough.